Okay, so here is a circuit, and this is the actual circuit. So, uh, sorry, this is a circuit schematic, and this is the actual circuit that I've constructed. This represents the battery. This is a red cable coming out of the positive terminal, coming in here as indicated by this red. And then notice the black connects over here to this black cable. And notice very carefully, I want to point something out here. I'm grabbing the metal, not the plastic. You don't need to zoom in. I'm grabbing the metal, not the plastic. These have been placed in here. Uh, if you can, try to zoom in here. But you'll notice I've noted lines 35, 40, and 45 here. That's 35, 40, and 45 here. Let's try to zoom in real quick. So this is 35. You see the two resistors coming in right there and there. Sorry. Then here's line 40. They're connected right there in line 40, and then they come over here and they output at line 45. So now you can zoom back out. If you can see this circuit, again, out of the red into line 35 through both simultaneously. At line 40, it then connects to line 45 through this other resistor. So out of the red, in here at line 35, through both, then this one's in the middle of that branch. In the middle of line 40, it comes over to line 45, back to home. So... That's a circuit, big deal. What I want to talk about is how to measure the current in that circuit. This is a battery, so think to yourself, AC or DC? This is a DC circuit, it's a battery. AC is like the wall socket. So now look on this dial. If I want to measure current, let's think. This is voltage DC, no. This is voltage AC, no. This is current, but it's AC, not good. This is DC current, straight lines next to a letter A. Now, we know that we have to use the common port because that's common to all measurements. So I'm going to put a lead in there. And now notice I do not want to use the red for volts and ohms. I want to use one of these other two inputs for amps. Since I'm doing a current measurement and I have no clue what resistors I put in here, I don't know what the current value is, so I could think, hmm, I don't know how big the current is, but I don't want to blow the fuse. This fuse will blow if I exceed 200 milliamps. This fuse will blow if I exceed 10 amps. Well, I'm going to try this. Hopefully the last student that used this didn't blow the fuse. Otherwise, this will be a boring video. So now it's going to beep. No big deal. And once I get to the correct setting, it stops beeping. So now... I'm on the dial setting that says 10 amps and the plug setting that says 10 amps. If I try to go to one of these smaller increments, it won't work. So the trick to doing a current measurement is to pick a leg and break and replace. Are you able to see this on the screen right now, Angus? Mm -hmm. So right here, let's say I want to get the current through this resistor. I could break either leg and replace it, and I'll show you what I mean. A trick here is to take a little jumper like this, and grab it. Now that I have this, if I want to measure the current in this resistor, I pull one of the legs of that resistor. Come on now. Whoops, I just pulled the whole thing out. Let me put it back in. Okay, now, I grab the leg of that resistor right here, and I make sure none of the metal is contacting, in other words, and now I replace that with this one, and remember this has to go in line 35. Now, I see a current measurement happening. Think. This is 0 0.01 amps. That's less than 200 milliamps. Hooray! I can come over here. It's beeping. Not a problem. I just haven't turned the dial to the right setting. Now that I'm in the 200 millis, I get more sig figs. Think to yourself, the next setting is 20 millis. Should I be able to turn that or will it overload? Let's find out. Notice two things. I go to the more sensitive setting, I get more sig figs. Look carefully at the first two though. This is about 13 milla amps. Again, milla because the dial says milla right there. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. If I go back, this says about 15 milliamps. 
Notice the dial setting you use will affect the current you measure. Why? Inside of here, there's a small amount of resistance in series with this, and that affects the measurement. They try to make it negligible, but it's never perfect. And when you change dial settings, it changes that internal resistance somehow in a way I don't understand and I don't care right now. But so now if I go to the two milli setting, it's probably going to overload. There we go. So I back it off one, and I read that this is about 13 point, let's say, 5 milliamps. It's floating in this last digit. Why care that much? Just say it's, okay, 13.3 milliamps, whatever. Take the reading and move on. And I believe, now, one last thing. Whenever you're doing a current measurement, after you're done, do these things. Take the measurement device out. Immediately put the circuit back the way it's supposed to be. 40, 35, and now turn the device off. Now I've done my measurement, and if I need to do another one, do that whole procedure again. Let's call that good.